Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Today we're on, hallelujah, chapter 4 of Proverbs, part 2. The right way and the wrong way. Hallelujah. Before we do that, I want to know, did you tell Father God thank you when he woke you up this morning? Because it was he that woke us up. It was he that kept us overnight. It is he that provides for us. It is he that, the reason why we breathe. Hallelujah. And I hope you told your loved ones that you love them when I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. You know, many people didn't open their eyes this morning, but God woke you up. Did you tell them thank you? Hallelujah. I hope you all are saved and giving your life to Christ Jesus. It is he that died on the cross for all our sins, nobody else. Many people bump their head against the wall and keep wondering why things go in circles, why ain't anything working right. When you, weren't, when you live with Christ, it's going to have no choice but to be right. But as long as you keep wandering about and thinking you can lean your own understanding and do things your own way, it's going to mess up. You're going to mess up. Aren't you tired of beating your head against the wall? So I'm living for Christ. Give God a chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as Jesus said, the Father and I are one. So if you can say, why are you saying Jesus is saying God? They're one. Hallelujah. The Father and the Lord and the Holy Spirit. They're one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. With that being said, hallelujah. We're going to say a prayer now for children of all ages. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. Glory be to God. If nobody else tell you they love you today, I'm telling you I love you. Father God loves you more. Glory be to God. You are blessed. Count your blessings and be content where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father God, for every day. Thank you, Father God, that you keep us and you watch over us and you take care of us. You teach us things we need to know and you chastise us when we were wrong, Lord, and bring us to repentance. And Father God, we thank you for teaching us how to love others and treat others with respect and dignity. And Lord, we love you like no other. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4, part 2, the right way and the wrong way. My child, if you listen and obey my teachings, you will live a long time. I have shown you the way that makes sense. I have guided you along the right path. Your road won't be blocked and you won't stumble when you run. Hold firmly to my teaching and never let go. It will mean life for you. Don't follow the bad example of cruel and evil people. Turn aside and keep going. Stay, stay away from them. They can't sleep or rest until they do wrong or harm some innocent victim. Their food and drink are violence and cruelty. The lifestyle of good people is like sunlight at dawn that keeps getting brighter until broad daylight. The lifestyle of the wicked is like total darkness and they will never know what makes them stumble. My child, listen carefully to everything I say. Don't forget a single word, but think about it all. Knowing these teachings will mean true life and good health for you. Carefully guard your thoughts because they are the source of true life. Never tell lies or be deceitful in what you say. Keep looking straight ahead without turning aside. Know where you are headed and you will stay on solid ground. Don't make a mistake by turning to the right or to the left. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. Well, God's willing, tomorrow we'll be on chapter 5, part 1. Be faithful to your wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you all with the love of the Lord and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day, children of all ages. And remember, the Father God, Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. That is something that is not up for grabs. It is not up for discussion. It is not up for debate. It is something we all must do. Please do it. Please do it. Treat others the way you want to be treated with love and respect. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. That's why I tell you the truth. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.